Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dubstep track. Um, dubstep tracks are easy to make. They may sound very uh, technical, but most of the movements and the sounds are actually just coming from a pattern that's created called an arpeggiator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record an arpeggiator here um, for my Corp Triton. I'm going to record the arpeggiator into Pro Tools, into a track, and we're going to just make a dubstep track like that. Now, the arpeggiator um, that I'm using is just a template arpeggiator. It comes with the keyboard. You can customize your arpeggiators. You can actually create new arpeggiators in the keyboard, but I'm just going to use the basic template here for this example. So, what we're going to do first is match the, te the sequencer um, with the, uh, the keyboard. So, I'm going to match this as 132. So, I've got 132 on, this, on, this, on the keyboard. So I'm starting with just an audio track that's going left and right, uh, stereo, and my metronome is already on, so let's start the sound. Let's listen to it first to see if it's what we need to hear. This is the sound. But... Not the drums, but the actual um, sound. Let's turn on the metronomes. We can get started. So, <clears throat> let's add the drums to the second. Alright, that's what we'll start with. Sure. 
Because the techno music has to be tight. The key to it is the tightness. So what I'm going to have to do Shift this over just a little, let's just start a little bit early.
Thank you. 
You get the idea of how it works. So, subscribe to me.